Hello guys, welcome back to American Truck Simulator. So guys, I was going to do a double mod review today. Uh, there is an International 9300i Eagle that has come out over on the workshop. But the truck really doesn't have any good engine sound right now. The engine sounds are mostly default of what I'm, what I'm seeing. Nothing really good over there. So I'm going to wait a little bit longer on that truck, maybe to get a little bit more updates, so maybe get a few more engine sounds before I do a video with it. So today we're going to be, do, we're going to be doing a mod review of uh, this uh, cattle trailer. This was put on the Sting Workshop. This is Pinga's cattle trailer. Uh, so all credits go to Pinga. Um, he has released this over on the Workshop. It is an awesome looking trailer. I'll show you all the uh, specs of the trailer, all the customizations, everything, uh, when we get done with this run. We use the SCS International 9900 Eagle. Now you drive safely here. Let's go on the road. Yeah, we're going to turn it down. I, I could not find a good engine sound. I'm going to run that truck anyways, I think. Um, it may sound different uh, in a headset, but I, well, without a headset, it it sound terrible. The uh, engine sounds. What I could find was they was mostly all default from what they sound like to me. Was default sounds for the truck. So yeah, that's a little bit better. All right, so we're gonna have to have this up because this is don't have a GPS, and it shouldn't. It's an older truck. Mm. They didn't have GPS's in these trucks, so. so let's go on the road. Hope everybody's doing well. Uh, I am really enjoying this truck. Really looking forward to see what it says got planned for next. As far as trucks. Uh, as you guys know, I don't use too many mods, but I wanted to check, uh, show you this uh, cattle trailer. There is the SCS cattle trailer. That's what I mostly use. Uh, I'm not really that much into mods for trucks and trailers. I run one occasionally when one catches my eye. And I always um, kind of follow what Pinga does with his trailers. So... Great opportunity to cut, get in here and show you guys this uh, trailer. So we got 170, uh, 174 miles to go. Turn right. Turn right. Say we ran a red light, but we did. Now I have turned off all the traffic mods and right. um, everything. I was trying to make the game a little bit more stable. Uh, Jazzy Cat's traffic right. mods and his cargo packs and stuff was just really making the game unstable. It was making it lag and um, I don't want to lag so it's very unfortunate that we had to turn it off but you know that, that's the way it is right now. I do believe the only thing that I am still using for the traffic mod is the realistic, the Metropolitan Police mo uh, Car mod that gives you real police models. I, I do believe I still have that in. Uh, I have multiple profiles, so this is like my third profile. Love this International Eagle. Great looking truck. 
I think this would be a good place to get our thumbnail. Alright, so let's go this way. We're gonna go this way since that uh, is in the way. Come in with it right here. Get a little bit closer in. Block that car. We don't want that car in the picture. About right there. I did throw the beacons on the truck just in case I needed the beacons. I can always take them off. Uh, yeah, th this truck gives us hope of what SCS may can accomplish with trucks. Go straight up. If on. they can get That's permission right. from International to make this, then hopefully we can see other brands can jump on and break older model trucks. Maybe Peter better let them do a 379. Get ready to turn right. That would be awesome, you know. Um, maybe, maybe Freightliner will let them do a turn Freightliner right. Classic. Okay. Yeah. I mean, because back in the day, this was an iconic truck. You see these trucks, everyone had them. Speed limit is 80, so let's give it a roll. Let's see if we can get her up to 80. We're running a Cummins I-15, 600 horsepower, 18-speed eating full of transmission. I think we got it there. Put the cruise control on. Also, guys, I do have plans for more real company runs. Um, I want to say to everyone, thank you for everyone that has watched the videos, is watching the videos, is subscribing. It means a lot. It helps the channel grow. I'm always looking for more things to play, new content to bring. Um, I, there's only certain types of games that I play, so I'm trying to kind of fill in you know, what I like to play and what everyone else likes to do too. So you know, I'm always looking. Um, it's, I have a full-time job too. so. My time is, I don't have the, the time to, to look as much as I'd like to, but see what I can find, but I'm always looking. I just love the inside of this truck. It looks so good. See if we can go around him. Let's see. Spill him at 70. He must be getting off anyways. <coughs>
It's a road work over there. They want us to go. We're not gonna do that. If we can get through, we're going this way. I don't want to spend that all uh, waste that much time for you with you guys when I'm not recording I do it but when, I, when I'm recording video for you I don't do that if I ain't get around it I'm gonna try to get around it We don't want to get, damage our trailer with this cattle on board, so trying to be careful here. Even though we did just cut through a Keep right lot of road, and then turn right. but you know what they say. Okay, we'll be there in a minute. We're 11 miles out.
straight on. That's right. Love the in the traffic sounds in this game. The mods that we use the you know, really make the traffic sound really good in this game. Love that. Like the, it's like that car over there. Make a wide turn here. We're finished. All right, well, they want it. I see it over there. Oh, this trailer looks really good at night. Look at that. Really good looking trailer. Back into the other trailer. There. What are we doing? Cut it sharp here. Oh. Man, I can't drive for some reason today. I don't know what's going on today. Normally I'm not this bad at back in the trailer. Another trailer back there that I can't see. I 
think they are. I think there's a shorty back there. Yeah, there's a shorty racket right there, like a maybe a 48 footer right there. There we go. Alright, we drove extra, we drove 175 miles, so it's 13 hours and 16 minutes to get here because we consume 24.2 gallons of fuel. Alright, so I'm going to show you the uh, the trailer. Now, it is a mod, it is from Pinga. So you, if you play a Mega Truck Cellar and you don't know, you go into your mod menu. Actually, when you pull up your trailer menu here, it's going to show it. What's some trailer? This cattle trailer. It has multiple options. You go here. You have one option there for livestock. You have uh, you have the single and the stock master. All right, then you have two options for your axles. You have a, they actually look the same to me. Uh, I don't really know the difference in this. It looks the same. This is a S. It just moves the front axle a little bit. That's a little bit closer. That's a little bit farther back on the axle. Um, colors, you can choose your own color. You want to make it a different color, you can do that. Like that, you know. Doesn't really do anything too much to the trailer. Then you have your regular gray, like it is here. Pinga has his own colors. It kind of mixes in. If you wanted to do something with that, you could. All right, so this is your trailer options here. So you have here, you have decals. Um, this is your decal here. You can remove that where it doesn't have any decals on it at all. You have um, you have painted versions of the right here. Where is that at? There's two versions. You have a chrome. That's like now that you have aluminum. Yeah, okay, yeah, this is aluminum here. That's chrome for the front plating of the trailer. That's like, a, that's a like aluminum. Another aluminum. Another chrome. That's a chrome. Painted version, if you wanted to paint it, you could paint it like that. Another painted version. Painted version. You can also put the signage in here. Um, it has a box right here. You go, you go here, and you add like whatever you want to put in. Right here, it says edit. You can edit it if you wanted to do that. You don't have to, but you can. It has it like that. It has a deeper one like that. Dude. Then here's your lighting for the trailer. You have aluminum chrome painted. Then you can do your own lighting if you wanted to come in and add your own lighting however you want it done. 
you can do that. Uh, you have mud flaps that you can put back here in front of the front axle, like that. You have more flaps back here that you can add. Uh, you can paint this right here. You can make you can make it painted. You can make it chrome, aluminum. All this can be chrome, aluminum, painted if you want to paint that. Um, same thing here on this door. All. All the, the only thing I don't like is it doesn't paint the whole door, which I understand why it is a cattle trailer, so I would not totally understand why it would do that. So, yeah, I mean, you have multiple options. You uh, you have tire multiple tire options here, uh, rims. Um, I have the Smarties uh, Icoa pack and also have Vipers pack, so you will see some of that in here with this, but yeah, awesome trailer. Um, I'm not one that uses too many modded trailers, so I won't be using it much myself. But it, it is an awesome addition to, to the Sing Workshop. It is an awesome little addition to the Sing Workshop and what all Pinga has done with his trailer and his trucks. So I want to say thank you for watching. Thank you everyone for subscribing. And uh, have a good day.